Hi, welcome to Amity Live Sessions. I'm Dr. Lennon, and today I am going to be telling you a little bit about me, about you, about who we think we are, and how we may not be who we think we are. So when I ask you, or when I ask any of my friends, how well do you know yourself? And many people would go, yeah, I know myself fairly well, you know, I'm kind, I'm considerate, or, you know, I'm always late, or I'm messy, or I'm, um, you know, I'm very particular about details, I'm meticulous, I'm good at maths, I'm good at sports. You know, you get all sorts of different rates of answers. My challenge is that, have you defined who you are? And think about this particular thought. You are not your thoughts. So how we perceive ourselves is fundamentally based on all the memories, histories, experiences, uh, lessons that we have learned all the way from we were born as far as you can remember to this moment in time. And that's how you define yourself. Okay? So if you were to think, put, your, put yourself, say, five years back, were you the same person? Or even 10 years back, we're the same person. You have changed. But I'm fairly certain as well, at that point in time, you are also very certain of who you were, as what we are right now. So my challenge is that, think about it. We are not our thoughts. Because our thoughts is merely an accumulation of our past. We have no idea what we're going to do in the future. We have no idea what we're going to say in the future. We have no idea what sport to take up in the future that we, uh, that we may actually excel at if we put our mind to it. So by saying that we know ourselves, we are potentially limiting our own potential. It may be uh, nicer for me, I can't find a better word than that, or more constructive to actually look at ourselves as a blank canvas, or rather a partially filled canvas. One with history and one with our future of whatever we want to do. And we can do a lot. Remember. We've got an unalterable past, the choice of the present, and the promise of the future. So when we are looking at, okay, what I'm going to do now is going to affect what I'm going to be in the future. And I'm not going to limit myself to say that I'm not good at horse riding because I've not done horse riding to this date. But who's to say that I'm not going to master horse riding in the next 10, 20 years? But if I keep telling that to myself, I'm limiting my own mind. So we cannot escape a prison that we are not aware that we're in. The hardest prison to escape is our mind. The difficulty lies not in developing new ideas, then it is from escaping from old ones. Free your mind, the rest will follow. We are more than what we think we are. We are not our own thoughts. Do not be mistaken by that. Do not be tricked by that. Do not be belowed, begotted. Be, don't, don't, don't get tricked on by yourself. Okay, we are not our own thoughts. We are much more than that. Okay, it's very easy to sit into a comfort zone thinking, okay, my life is now sorted. Okay, I know myself, I've done this, X, Y, Z, and that's it. No, 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 no. Why limit yourself like that? There's much, much more to you than there is. The potential inside us is ridiculous, amazing. Don't limit yourself. Remember, you are not your thoughts. You can be what you want to be, provided you know what you want to be, and you put in a work for it. Expand your mind. Free your mind. With that, I hope that's been helpful. I look forward to see you at the next live event. This is Amity. Mm -hmm.